Jake, there is so much that I wish to say to you on this very day, and I felt like I had to fit it all into this exact moment, but it's impossible. I realize that we have the rest of our lives to show and tell one another how we feel. We are just now beginning our very first chapter of our story called Life. Each and every day, you make me feel beautiful, and you don't hesitate to tell me so. I vow to always make you feel that you are enough. You have supported me through all the good and the bad, never doubting my strength and capabilities. I vow to support you through darkness and in light, no matter which path you choose. You taught me to not sweat the small things and to laugh and smile as much as possible, even if things don't go according to plan. Though it'll be tough, I vow to laugh a little more and stress a little less. I vow to be the best wife I can possibly be, providing you support, advice, and love, even if you don't think you need it. Shannon, I love you with all of my heart. Since the day we met, I knew there was something special about you. I didn't know why at first, but now it's all become clear to me. And that's why we're here standing here today. You're the most amazing woman I could ever ask for, and even after all these years, you still find new ways to surprise me and share your love for me. I feel at home with you through all the rough times we've been through, and I'll always stay right by your side. I never thought I could love someone and trust someone like I do you. I don't understand how people try to avoid their wives and girlfriends and stay at work, because I'm excited to come home every day to you and spend all the time I can with you. I've never felt so happy in my life as I am now, and I know our lives will only get better from here on out. I vow to love and cherish you until the day I take my last breath. I'll be forever yours. That was really good. I tried. I, Jacob, give you Shannon this ring as a symbol for my love and commitment. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. I, Shannon, give you Jacob. This ring is a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I thee wed. By the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Pennsylvania, I pronounce you, Jacob and Shannon, as husband and wife. Jacob, you may now kiss the bride. Shannon, you have grown into an amazing woman, and I am so proud of the person you have become. Part of you will always be my little girl. My name is Connor, and I've been one of uh, Jake's uh, longest best friends. And we met all the way back in the Champ days. Those of you that remember the Champ, it was the worst music venue I've ever been to in my life, but they played damn good music there and we were a part of it. Over the years, we've bonded over uh, 
new metal bands and Ivan has seven string guitars. If there is one thing I know about Jake is that sometimes he doesn't know exactly what he wants. However, in all of that time he's kept one thing constant in his life, and that's Shannon. And can we please give her a round of applause for her looking spectacular tonight. A beautiful, sweet, caring woman has entered his life and changed everything forever. It is an honor and a privilege to be here on your guys' biggest day. And to that, I say congratulations and cheers, guys. Um, I realized quickly that I needed to be Shannon's best friend because she was literally a ray of sunshine and she was the best person I've ever met. Over the past few years, our friendship has really grown and I've also seen their relationship blossom. Shannon and Jake, you're such a great couple and I'm so glad to be a part of your life. And I wish you guys the best. I hope that you live your best lives together, but also as individuals. Shannon entered my life over six years ago and from the start of our friendship, I've always admired how much of an amazing and talented woman she is. Something that Shannon has told me from the beginning that has meant a lot to me is that she considered me to be her sister. Shannon, of course, didn't know what she was signing up for when saying this. She has two brothers. Although both of you don't need advice from me, as a maid of honor tradition says that I'm supposed to give it to you anyways. I don't have much to say that I haven't already said or that you don't already know, but the advice I leave you with today is to continue to adventure in some way forever. Congratulations. I wish you both a lifetime of love and happiness. I love you both, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds.